Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with a blog to watch at Watches and Wonders Geneva 2022 with Zenith, looking at two new collections of the El Primero movement. First is the Defy Skyline. This is a watch collection which has a strap and comes with a bracelet and steel. $8,400 price point. Really interesting what they did here is they took the El Primero chronograph, took out the chronograph, and what's left is the 5 hertz movement. So you have a subsidiary hand on the dial, it's not seconds, it's actually a 10 second indicator and the rapidly moving hand goes around there. I found these watches to be truly exceptional on the wrist, very comfortable, cool and stylish. And if you're into the, sort of the hip integrated bracelet watch, um, these definitely fit in. And the price point is actually quite attractive given what's in the market. In addition to the sort of silver white dial that I was wearing, this is the blue version, which I think is probably gonna be the hit for a lot of people. Uh, Zenith is probably gonna come out with more versions of it, but this is really, I think, the star model. And what I like about the dial is that it has a little bit of depth. Never quite seen someone do this um, on the dial. Difficult to explain what it is, but you'll be able to see in the macro photography on blogtowatch.com. And then of course, a black dial version as well in the Defy Skyline. So strong collection, about a 41 millimeter wide size. Um, looks a little bit bigger because of the case thickness and the sort of broadness of the lugs, but very, very wearable as you can see. Similar size, but a very different watch is the Chronomaster Sport. Now we have, this is the two-tone steel and gold, and I have two other full gold versions here. Oh, sorry, this is the full gold version. This is an exceptionally nice watch, brand new bracelet, and this is the traditional full El Primero movement, the five hertz chronograph with the one-tenth of a second hand there on the dial. Really strong collection, obviously looks like other watches in the market, like the Daytona, but what people don't always know is that Zenith was supplying Rolex for chronograph moons for the Daytona for about 15 years, up until the very end of the 1990s. So there's actually a lot of legitimacy in this design. These have been very, very popular and they're very, very satisfying the wrist. A little bit larger than the Daytona, which I like. Beautiful exhibition case back, um, just truly well done. There's a steel version with a black ceramic bezel, which is sort of the, the a hot popular model, um, but these ones I think really should not be passed. If you're looking for a solid gold chronograph, this is sort of hard to beat at around the $37,000 price point. I'll show you the watch with the sort of black dial, and you can see that Zenith is using the iconic three sub-dial colors, which adds a lot of character to these. Black, I think, is my favorite version, especially in all gold with the bezel. And then, as I mentioned before, there's a two-tone version here, about $17,000 in steel um, and gold, silver dial with those colors as well. Really attractive on the wrist. I'll put one on so you can sort of see here just how sort of nice they are. And again, what's interesting is both of these watches are approximately 40 millimeters wide, but very, very different wearing profile. Also both 5 Hertz El Primero movements. These are some of the new watches from Zenith, and you can see more about the Defy Skyline and the Chronomaster Sport on a blog to watch.com. Thanks.